Okay, guys, this is part four of TikTok stories that need to be stopped. I thought I was done with these, but somebody sent me one more story. This girl's name is Jada, and just listen to what she posted. How my 2022 went, do not judge me. So most of the people watching this already watched the first three videos. We're, we're, we're already prejudging. We kind of we know what the fuck is going to happen next. Saying don't judge me is making it worse. Found out I was pregnant in January and didn't tell nobody, not even my baby daddy. I don't get why you wouldn't tell him. Unless you think he's going to shoot you in the stomach. He surprised me with a decorated telly for V-Day. Is that what we're calling hotels? Tellies? Is that a telly is a hotel, guys? Where are they saying this shit at? I decided to tell him and he was so happy. Aw, you guys are so cute. I'm getting a real wholesome vibe from this one, guys. This one might be our first good story. I found out he had two other kids. Oh, two? And one of them only being six weeks, but I decided to stay with him for our son. What do you mean you decided? So you holding the other baby mama's kids? Ain't no motherfucking way she okay with this. Ain't no way you okay with this. What did he say to you guys? What did he say, bro? It has to be something he said, bro. His baby mama crashed me. Okay, hit my car when she saw us out together. My car was totaled. Damn, she was trying to take you out the game, bro. That's that's a, that's that's an attempted murder. There has to be a case. And he bought me a new one the next day. No fuck. Did she go to jail? The only thing that I can think is that you were holding her kids and she's like upset that you're taking her man. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. There's probably more to the story that I don't know. But when you hold someone else's kids and take a picture with them, it makes the other thing, the other person think that you're like trying to be the new mommy or the new daddy or whatever. It's like a ha ha, your kids like me better type thing. And I, I don't know. I just don't know what, why would a person hit you with their car? I got super close with his daughter. See this, this right here is what I was just talking about. This was right before I found out he was still seeing her mom. I don't get how people never suspect this. If you're in a relationship and your person has a baby mama or baby daddy, you got to understand that they were so in love with this person that was worth having a kid for. It's just, don't be shocked if something rekindles, bro. There's no way that something doesn't rekindle, bro. They're still in love with each other. So I wouldn't be surprised if they were still fucking behind the scenes. But also, two, he fucking lied, bro. That, to me, is a cutoff. We're going to have to cut him off, bro. Went to jail for beating her weak ass, and he bonded me out. Why are y'all fighting each other? You should be mad at the man. How, why aren't you guys mad at the man? Why do women do this? He's the one lying. He's the one cheating. But you want to go beat her ass? I just don't get it. And he bonded you out. See, and that's going to make her even more mad. Oh, my God. Also, you went to jail for beating her ass? Why she ain't go to jail for T-boning your car? Make that make sense, y'all. And I bet he bailed her out, too. He bailing both y'all out. He fucking y'all and bailing y'all out. This is... <laughs> He had this waiting for me when I got home. What the fuck? You beat his baby mama ass, and he got you flowers and $150? What this fucking car say? God loves was revealed among us in the way God sent his only son to the world. What the fuck is this? Thank be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord. And Are y'all Christians? Ain't no fucking way y'all are, because Jesus ain't died for none of this shit y'all doing. Peace, I love you with... My peace I give to you. I do not know fucking way he gave you this. Ain't no way he gave you this. We officially started dating again and things were good for a while. Oh my God. Oh, stop doing that. How do y'all just keep forgiving like that? It, it's because she's already got the kids. So she's not finna. I get it. She's not trying to give up on the relationship. I understand. But oh my God. He got off into snowflake bad. I had to leave him a ice. What did he get into? What is he? Oh! He hitting that Pablo Escobar. Okay, I get it. My bad. My bad. Yeah, that's a whole problem. He got to go. You have to go. Don't go back to him. Then I started running it up on my own. Why do you guys always do this with the cash? Five bands, guys. This doesn't just show up like this. We gotta. Keep, I keep saying this. I want to say stripper, but do strippers get paid while being pregnant? I guess you could because some guys like that shit. Otherwise, it's scamming. It's something. I don't know where the money's coming from, but that this is a scam. Or you're selling lots of drugs. Then I found him begging outside the Hood G station and gave him a rod. He don't look homeless. Maybe this is just a picture to fill in because, I mean, why would you take a picture of him, of him being homeless? We started staying the night together every day. Oh, my God. You took the drug addict back. You literally found bro homeless and still a drug addict and you brought him back inside. Then why did you leave? 
You should have just stayed and just got him in rehab. You should have just let him stay in the first place. I don't understand. And who the hell took this picture? Is this one of y'all friends? If this one of y'all friends, that is a L friend because they know this is wrong. Then I got him a job with me. What the fuck would you do that for? And where do you work? Because I know that money from earlier was not from a nine to five. They're both selling drugs. These, <laughs> this is the drug dealer story. Drug dealers in love. Mm. Then he was high as hell for the birth of our son, so I left him. Why would you leave him? You already knew he was a drug addict. What the fuck's the, what the fuck? That's his style. What's, what's the problem now? You knew this already. But still, if he was on drugs, he got to sit in the lobby. He, I don't know why he just up. He way too close. Mm. He beat me and I ended up in the hospital. I was afraid for my life. Whoa. So you had the baby and then he beat you afterwards? Like, <sighs> there was so many motherfucking red flags. Like, I'm, I, I, I. I'm not trying to say that like you knew this was coming because that's it's like a form of victim blaming. But you knew this was you you knew this was coming. No cap, we you knew this was coming. I keep telling you to leave, leave, leave him. How many times I gotta do this? I've done this in every fucking video. Leave. You look, look, I bet all the comments. We'll get to the comments in a second. I was couch hopping so he wouldn't find me or my son. This is sad as fuck, bro. He got clean and we started talking again. I decided to let him see his son. Oh my God. Like, how are we going to defend you if you just keep doing this, bro? It's the trauma bonding, guys. Like, oh, I understand it's hard to shake someone off when they're the one that like trauma, like traumatized you. So you like kind of needed to feel normal. But oh my God, bro, you know, you know, now we're a happy family. So it was all worth it. <laughs> <laughs> was it worth it? Who am I to tell you it wasn't worth it? I guess it was worth it. No, bro. I'm reading the comments. I think this is a joke. I really hope it's a joke. Bro, I hope it is. But when somebody says they've been abused, I don't like to take it as a joke. I like to take them seriously. I like to try to believe the person. She said, bye. Not you saying don't judge me and then proceed to telling the most egregious story. That is a crazy motherfucking word. Egregious. Outstandingly bad. Okay, you're putting me on. Baby, not the measly $150 in roses. We have to be stronger than this. No cap. I lost count at the amount of red flags. I swear me too. So did God. God was trying. Ain't gonna lie. This story is outrageous. Right. It's just too much. You fought over a guy while pregnant. Right. What the fuck was wrong? <laughs> Girl, what do you mean? Don't judge you. I can't stand girls that say I stay with him because of our son and daughter and kids. No, you stayed for you. No cap, she did. That's why I believe too. You, it's, you, it's for the kids, but it was for you too. Really, it was for you. The edges made me understand this story. Yo, chill out, bro. Relax over there. Relax. So guys, I go to her profile and I see this. So she's just doing a TikTok with her baby dad, right? But listen to the lyrics of this song. No, they trying to scope. Well, they just looking. Trying to see how that she go. Cause I be hitting that house. Cause I be hitting that house. This shit is just very ironic, and he just hit the dance way too hard on that part. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to say nothing. I'm trying to say something. Top comment. Oh, you wasn't playing. Right, what I'm saying. Right, we all up in here like, what the fuck? Because this video got posted like 16 hours ago, guys. That's why this is fresh. Bruh, look at this next video. Me unblocking my baby dad to text him and remind him that he ain't shit. Never was, never will be. I'd never talk to him again if it weren't for our son. But also, we miss him and want our family back. So do he want to come stay the night with us? So no cap, heavy, heavy trauma bonding, guys. But you know what makes it worse? The fucking comments. Glad I'm not just crazy because this is me as fuck. Just did this right now. I love that man so much. It's just a bunch of girls in the comments saying, me too, me too. I be hitting up my baby daddy after he beats me, after he cheats on me, after. That's why these stories never end, guys. That's why we keep finding more because there's a bunch of them. I'm over this. What do y'all think about this? Guys, we just made it to 400,000 followers. I'm really a music artist, but I make these videos because I know you like them. So please follow the page for me. And besides all of this, remember, when you woke up in your bed, it was just you. You had a plan. You have come so far. Do not forget why you did all that work. I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not gonna live it being no weak motherfucker on dead nim. We got work to do. Pop your shit, star. If it was
love, then why didn't you stay? I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced But it was so easy to throw us away And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be I fucking love you, but not more than me When I could die tomorrow, I cannot leave with no regret You acting different, I'm peeping on that I really wanted to stay till the end But I gotta take off these rose-colored glasses And know when it's time for me to walk away So I can say we wanted different things All of this effort, I'm tired of asking for it Why did you ask me to commit? I see where this is going, it's into a ditch <laughs> Cry. So I'm not gonna cry